Hey guys, it's me Crystal from Marching North. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super chunky crochet blanket. This is seriously the coziest blanket you could possibly make and it works up really really fast. You can make this whole blanket in one evening. For this pattern you're going to need super chunky yarn and a big crochet hook. I have my 25 millimeter crochet hook here and I will also link below to the big bulky yarn I used for this blanket. This pattern is super beginner friendly. It's made all the way with double crochet so it works up really, really fast and it's very, very simple. Okay, let's get started. The yarn I'm using for my blanket is called Burnett Blanket Big and I got it in the color Malachite and I ended up using seven skeins of yarn for this. I also have my 25 millimeter crochet hook and what you're gonna do is just find the end of one of your balls of yarn and you're going to tie a slip knot. So to do that, you wrap it around your hand like that to make a loop and then you're gonna take the long end and you're gonna loop it up through the loop that was around your fingers and that's gonna form your slip knot. So you pull the two pieces of yarn to tighten it up and that is where you're gonna put your hook. So you're just gonna insert your hook right into that loop, pull on the long end of the yarn and it'll tighten it up and you don't wanna make it too tight, you just want it to be snug. Now we're gonna chain 33 times, so yarn over and then you're going to pull it through the loop. And that's one chain. Then you're going to yarn over again and continue. Just pull it through the loop and you're going to try to make your chains not too tight. You want them to be loose enough that they can slide easily on the hook. I usually make mine a little bit larger than the actual hook size. And this yarn is kind of a challenge to work with. It kind of sticks to itself, so it's a little bit of an arm workout. Now that we've made our 33 chains, we're gonna turn it and we're gonna work in our third chain from our hook. So we're gonna work a double crochet into that third chain. Take your yarn, you're gonna loop it over your hook to yarn over. Then you're gonna insert your hook into that third chain, yarn over, pull the yarn through the loop, and now you'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over again, and you're going to pull it through two of the loops, and you'll have two left. Then you yarn over again, and pull it through the last two loops, and that is your double crochet. Continue making double crochets in each chain all the way down to the end. You're just going to go ahead and do your last double crochet. Now you're going to chain two, so one, and then yarn over and chain one more time. And then you're going to turn your work, so just turn it all around. And now we're going to start on the second row. So for the first stitch of each row, we're gonna double crochet into that same stitch where the chain is coming out of. So you yarn over and you're just gonna insert it right into that stitch under both of the loops. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over again, 
pull it through two, yarn over again, and pull it through the last two. And it's just a regular double crochet, and that's how each row will start. Then you're just going to continue double crocheting all the way back down the row until you get to the end where you'll chain two again, turn, and repeat. Before you reach the end of this row though, you'll probably run out of yarn. So I will show you what to do when that happens. Here my yarn tail is getting real short. So what I like to do is do part of a double crochet. I yarn over and I get my three loops on my hook. And then I grab my next ball of yarn and I just hold the end there next to the other short end like that. Then I yarn over with the new yarn and I complete my double crochet with the new yarn. Then I go ahead and do another stitch or two just to really secure everything in place. And then I go back and flip my work over Grab those two short tails and tie a knot in them. You want the knot to be snug, but not so tight that it cinches your blanket up or anything. And then just leave the tails and we'll weave them in later. before when you reach that last stitch you're just going to do one last double crochet in there then you will chain two turn your work and the first stitch will be made in that same stitch that the chain is coming out of And then you just continue that going down the row and repeat that for the rest of the rows. And there are 12 rows all together for this blanket. of your last row, you're just going to go ahead and do your last double crochet. This is how much yarn I had left for my last skein of yarn, so I almost used it all up, but not quite. Then just remove your hook, cut your yarn, and pull the loop so that the end comes through to finish it off there. And now we're going to tie a little knot here to secure it and weave in all of our ends. I just like to loop the end of the yarn through one of the other loops or stitches behind it and pull it through and just loop it around itself to make a little knot. Then I just weave the end through a whole bunch of stitches, just kind of weaving around where it's not too noticeable. The good thing about this yarn is it really kind of holds onto itself well, so it's not going you know, to slip out very easily. And I've actually already washed this in the washing machine and everything held up just fine. So just weave it through several stitches and then you're going to cut off the end. And then anywhere you tie a knot, you're going to take one end and weave it in one direction. And the other end and weave it in the opposite direction. Then trim off 
off your end and once you do all that, your blanket will be complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you made one of these cozy, awesome blankets. I just love this blanket. It's perfect for curling up for your morning coffee. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching.